Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss what T list. So what is the T list? T list which is stored the array of pointers. It often used to maintain the list of the object. T list define a list of pointers which can be used to store the object of any class and so on. T list is make the flexible than the dynamic array because it can be expanded automatically simply by adding the new item to it. Okay, so these are the basically the uh, the the use of the T list, right? You can also add the nil pointer to the T list. The advantage over the dynamic array, uh, the T list is that the dynamic array allow you to in indicate a specific type of the content object and perform the proper compile time type checking. So some of the properties and method I have listed of the T list. Right, so we have the set property, exchange property, add, delete property, rearrange, locate, sort of the object in the list, right? And uh, we can find out the item, right? And remove uh, method is there. We can remove the item from the list. We can move method is there. Insert method we can insert. We can first method we can find. We can last index of the method, assign method, clear method, and delete method, right? So here is the VCL hierarchy uh, in Delphi. So where the T list actually exists in this VCL hierarchy. So T list is basically derived from the T object directly, right? So we can see it here. Let's see uh, the Delphi code, uh, how to uh, write the T list and how to use it. T list. We'll see it through this example. So what I have done it, I have created a class, right? T customer class, okay? And this customer class, I have two variable customer and customer department. And then just set the property, a name and department. And after that, there is the one constructor I have created uh, where I am passing the name and department. It will, during the object creation, it will set the value. Right. And in the form of class, right, I have created a list object, my list object of type T list. And I have created one method, right. So my list object. So it will show all the list, list object uh, in the list, T list. So here, what I did it uh, on the form in the customer class, create method. I'm just setting the customer name and department, right? And uh, then form create what I'm doing. Actually, I have created object of the T customer class, okay? And what I'm uh, next doing is the creating the object, right? Of the T list, I'm creating the object and assign to the my list object and then clear it. And next will be I'm adding the object. So what I'm doing, T customer create T customer class object I'm creating here, right? And passing the two parameters because here the create constructor of the customer class have have two parameters, right? The customer name and the customer department. So whenever I'm creating the constructor, right? creating the object I'm calling the create constructor and passing the two parameter name and department right so once this object is created I'm adding into the my list object so my list object dot add method and we can pass the object right so customer is the object again I'm creating the new uh, object just creating the uh, object of the T customer class okay and again I'm adding to the uh, my list object okay and after that, just show list objects. So it will show the list of the, you know, all the object is available in the my list. So show list object, what is doing? So list object will display through the for loop. Just I'm displaying what is the customer and department name, right? So it will go two times because two object we have added in the my list object, right? The next is that we need to free the object. So whatever the object we have added into the list, we need to free it each and every object we need to free from the T list object. So let's run and see. So I'm running. So here I have created the object of the T list and uh, assigned to the my list object variable, right? And after that, uh, my list, my list variable, I will add it here, the customer object. So in this line here, I'm creating the calling the constructor and creating the T customer class object assigned to the customer variable. 
right customer variable is nothing but the customer class type and adding it here so i'm adding into the my list object dot add customer right object so next is again i'm creating the object of the customer class and uh, i'm adding into the list right so as of now if you see that i have control f7 dot count right i just put put into the watch list so as of now we have the two object is added into the t my list object and after that we can show the object right right so this is the false object i have added the vaskar and department is hr uh, hr so vaskar is the customer and department hr right the next will be the arvind is a customer and he is from the salesman department right so we have shown all the uh, the list object right and after that i am just i need to free it, uh, each and every right object from the list so that's it about the t list